Show it to the show. Come on. Hello. Uh, welcome to this overview video of a, a fairly recent project that I completed, which um, I'm hoping I've come up with a, a good overall name for, for this whole project because it's, it's going to span quite a number of videos. I designed a module for a very specific reason um, and I documented the, the whole process as much as I could. Um, that way to kind of produce this behind the scenes type content and to an extent hopefully it will serve as a bit of a design workshop or a tutorial. Uh, it might not be quite step by step but uh, I tried to keep things as comprehensive as possible to, to show the whole the whole process. So the module, as the title suggests, is the Tri Low Pass Filter. Um, this was the second module that I ever designed as Instro. Um, this is the original Tri Filter itself with a solid brass panel. It's it's based on the classic, uh, the Moog transistor ladder circuit. Um, yeah, the new version added a few new features to it under the hood, um, not in the filter circuitry but uh, more in the, the input stage so there's a few other a few quirks for uh, sound design in it uh, there's a full overview video where i go through the features in depth uh, i'll link that i'll link that below that means that every time this signal drops below zero it's changing the state of the, the sub generator so if the uh, DivKid also did uh, an excellent video on it which i'm very grateful for so i'll link that below as well the module it's it's kind of obviously an instro design um, I think I'd probably struggle to design anything that's not black and gold at this point. Um, I seem to have found my niche. Uh, I did change the brand at the top to being my signature versus just uh, the original Instro branding. Um, so this makes it kind of the, the second ever signature model that I've, I've released. Uh, the first one being the Octone, which uh, I did in, in partnership with the Glasgow Synth Guild uh, last year. So yeah, uh, this try, uh, it kind of exists a little bit outside of the norm in terms of a, a, a more typical instro release. Um, it's been a, a bit of a side project that uh, I did with a, a particular reason in mind. I produced and sold a batch of these direct uh, and this was to help cover some uh, vet costs which came a bit unexpectedly towards the end of 2024. So some folk might already be familiar with Winston who's currently sound asleep behind me. Off, off screen. Uh, but yeah, he's a, a very large greyhound who's accompanied me through most of the time that I've been running Instro. So last year we uh, discovered a, a, a lump on, on his, his right fore, fore leg, which uh, turned out to be a soft cell sarcoma. Uh, it was quite a stressful time. Um, 2024 was quite a, a busy year in general, so that definitely added to, added to certain stresses. But um, yeah, we had a ton of support from friends, family, uh, and Glasgow's got some some really incredible vets at a few different facilities that were, were uh, a huge resource. See, the vet considered you small. So the sarcoma itself was removed in uh, surgically in early October, I think it was. Uh, but because of the placement of it and you know there not being a lot of muscle tissue around it, uh, there was a high chance that there would be some microscopic remaining cancer cells. So the surgery was followed up through. Uh, through all of November, pretty much, with a pretty intensive radiation therapy treatment uh, series. So that meant three radiation therapies a week over the whole of November, which did mean three full general anaesthetics each week, um, which that was the, I think that was the most stressful part because not knowing how he'd respond to that, he does, his English is terrible, so we couldn't even explain to him what was going to happen to him, but uh, he, was, he, he was absolutely fine. Radiotherapy session two. He's a little bit dopey. A bit wobbly. I had to lift you into the car, didn't I? Dopey, 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 dopey. I think uh, the, the vet provided chicken every time we woke up, so he kind of just associated the, the pet hospital with getting chicken at the end of the day. So uh, he was he was fine, just quite dopey after each treatment, but generally quite unfazed. So he's uh, no worse for wear now. No. Five treatments in it. Well, almost at the halfway point. Come on, that's what we get. Good boy. You'll <laughs> <laughs> be getting used to this treatment. Don't get used to it. <laughs> Happy to share at this moment, moment in time. That is Winston in the clear. Full full recovery from 
uh, surgeries, treatments. Uh, it's been a it's been a busy time, but uh, yeah, looks like he's going to be with us for a good while longer. So the production batch itself of the the Winston modules, um, I did I did largely myself, but I, I did have some some help from a few folk just helping out volunteering uh, behind the scenes with uh, populating some of the boards and yeah, just just helping with a lot of the logistics behind behind the module. Um, Signal Sounds uh, specifically want to thank, uh, so they operate as Instro's distributor. Um, yeah, Signal Sounds and Alex they actually helped out with all the, the freight and shipping and um, donated donated some support through through that means, which uh, was a massive help. So it meant I wasn't personally having to go to the post office several times a week, uh, which was great. Um, yeah, so I, I sold the I sold the batch direct uh, point to point through an Etsy store that I set up for the project. Uh, what what I didn't expect was that the entire batch actually sold out within about six hours of going live, which um, yeah, I, I it was a response I, I I wasn't expecting. Like that was that was incredible, and um, yeah, first off, like thank you to everyone that that supported that uh, that bought a module, sent sent really nice messages, shared. Um, yeah, you've you've helped cover the the treatments and and uh, recovery for Winston um, over the past months. Um, yeah, we actually hit our goal and then some, so I was able to make a donation of £1,000 to GAL, who are the, the Glasgow-based rescue charity, uh, Greyhound Rescue Charity, that uh, we actually rescued Winston from about six years ago. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for that. So yeah, uh, 2024 was a busy one. This this design project, this module project, it's something that I came up with and was able to just focus a good bit of productivity on, which uh, it it helped it helped financially with uh, with managing the costs, but it, it also it it kept me sane. Like I was able to just it's something I could do proactively um, to work on something. Uh, incorporate Winston himself into a bunch of videos, which is quite fun, quite fun to do. Um, but yeah, like it was a, it was a coping strategy as much as something that I felt I could do proactively to sort of combat the situation. Hey, doggy, doggy, come on. Then. Where are you going, pup? Good boy. Okay, I'll take your cone off just there. Okay, up we go. No, no, no. Wrong, wrong up. That's the couch. We're going upstairs. Come on. Good boy. So we are about two and a half weeks post surgery from the from sarcoma being being removed. So this has been healing really well. Uh, we have to keep keep his cone on because he doesn't know any better, and we'll try and lick it, uh, but it doesn't seem to be bothering him at all. It's healed very well. He's still got his uh, his funny bowl cut fringe, which nicely matches up with his natural bald patch. So yeah, that's uh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, we found this uh, fabric cone, which uh, is very fetching, and he seems to be quite comfortable lying in that and sleeping through the day. Uh, so I have still been getting inquiries about the uh, future availability of the module. Um, it, it's something I, I need to figure out the logistics of, um, because this was a very focused project and it's it's, it's kind of served its purpose. Like uh, it, it would feel superfluous if it was to just run another batch. So I want to make sure that it. I maintain the value of the limited batch as as it exists now. Um, I think what might be viable is if I go back to doing uh, a more typical Instro branded version, if I do this through Instro production, through distribution to retailers, uh, I might be able to do a follow-up batch where I'll, I'll keep the new features, so this will retain the, the, the frequency dividers on the, the mixer input. But uh, yeah, I think I'll need to find the path to, to do that. Um, in terms of logistics, but uh, 
I'm, I'm hoping I'll be able to like, figure out a way to do it. Uh, in terms of the more extended part of this project, uh, I, I ran cameras and documented the, the, as much of the process as I could uh, of redesigning the module. Um, tried to keep it as complete as possible so that if someone is interested in the design process or using KiCad for circuit design, schematic capture, stuff like that, that uh, it will hopefully serve as a bit of an insight into an approach. Um, definitely won't say it's the best approach necessarily, but it's, it's how I've, I've found a way of working over the years. Um, I was joined for one of the main design sessions by David, who works with me here at Instro behind the scenes. Um, he keeps a lot of the things running running well behind the scenes. He uh, wears many hats. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was really good fun having him join me for the Saturday uh, to design. So it's uh, the, 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 the video itself, it's kind of landed somewhere between being a design tutorial and kind of ended up being a bit of a video podcast. So it's us just kind of rambling about design stuff, Instro, Winston, dogs. Uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping it's uh, entertaining enough. <laughs> um, uh, I'm using, I'm not using analog switches for switching them. <laughs> you keep up. Hello, do you want the blanket on you? You got this. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it. It's hard with the cone on, isn't it? I never know what he's trying to do. Yeah, it's difficult this. to interpret whether whether he's struggling or whether he actually likes doing that. <laughs> it's kind of inverted its cone. It's hard as well because Are you trying to get under it. Duvets don't exist in nature. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well done with an inverted cone. That's cool. <laughs> like a turtleneck now <laughs> yeah like it, it covers a lot of a lot of bits and bobs like there'll be some things i'll need to add in some some voiceovers because uh, they're definitely it's captured everything warts and all so there's some mistakes that i make during the schematic capture there's a hardware revision so yeah the, the whole thing like this ended up being a uh, i don't know if i've got the value on the back i think it's on the inside of the board but yeah this is a not a 1.0 it's a 1.1 um, that ended up as the production version. First prototype is built. Finding some minor issues. The filter circuit itself works perfectly. It's sounded very nice. Realised an error with the flip-flop divider. The output of the first flip-flop is driving the second flip-flop, which means we're getting a sub from this sub. But that's not actually what I want. I want to be able to patch in here and have that go to the second flip-flop to drive the normal here, so that you can patch in a signal here patch a different signal here and get the sub of this signal. Um, at the moment, if you patch in here. I, th I had a lot of fun doing this project. So I think this is kind of a, a, a throwback to how Instro started, which uh, originally it was, Instro was a media project where I, the whole focus was on production of a, a video of covering the, the design process of a Eurorack module. So Instro originally wasn't about the final production project as much as it was the uh, the process and and showcasing that so yeah I've, I've been keen for for a while to revisit that as a as a focus as an approach so hopefully this has done that to a degree but um, yeah uh, thank you again for your support I hope this series is of some interest to someone um, and thanks for watching thank you again oh. Come on, we're done with PCB design for the day. It's been a busy day.